Hello, I'm ABYX, Toy Cat, and today I'm going to be trying a silly Minecraft challenge I had because after playing Minecraft with only one block being limited to me a day, it seemed like a more logical and fun thing to do might be an unlimited number- Oh, Minecraft just crashed. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. I figured, I figured a more logical thing to do, a more challenging thing to do perhaps even, would be what if at the end of every day my inventory was deleted. And I figured something I've been wanting to do forever was this idea of- man, Minecraft's a bit broken right now, but it's fine. Uh, there's, there's this idea I've wanted to do for a while where every single day we have to move by him, and what if every day when we do move by him we have to also lose our inventory? That sounds like quite the challenge, doesn't it? And so that is precisely what I'm doing today. Um, just to see exactly what progress we can make. Anything I do, I need to know that my inventory is reset again to nothing at the end of the day. And so it makes this hard difficulty playthrough just that little bit extra hard. And so let's see how it goes for me by first of all, making friends with a bee. Oh, look how cute they are. Oh, by the way, we've got deferred rendering on. This is a brand new Minecraft preview setting. I wanted to play with it and this seemed like a good challenge to give it a shot on because where else can we truly appreciate all the blocks we'll have to be breaking uh, other than a deferred uh, preview. Anyway, with that said, uh, yeah, this is uh, a beautiful, beautiful world. And uh, one of the reasons you might recognize it is if you've been uh, checking out uh, Seed Sunday recently, you might know what's just over this hill here. That's right, it's a Woodland Mansion. So, um, yeah, this is my, my first biome for the day is going to be... Uh, I, I guess we're gonna we're gonna count it as this meadow biome right here, and we're gonna try our very best to have a good first day that gets us ahead of the game, while also acknowledging that like yeah we could go mine diamonds right now, and tomorrow what would we have to show for it? And so my first day is all about coming up ahead in terms of food. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like even, uh, I, it, depending on how you count, uh, your, your inventory, I feel like armor might even count too, right? Like, these are inventory slots, you might argue. I'll let chat decide on that one. But, um, ultimately, we have to come out as far ahead as we can so that we start day two ready to rile, ready to go, and ready to find somewhere to make, because, you know, the only things that stay put are if we were to get an eye offender, we can throw that in the end portal and it's in the world. Same with these planks. This plank will be deleted tomorrow unless I were to, say, place it down, then it stays stuck in the world. So we need to make as many things as we can that stick in the world. Uh, I'm also going to say we can't just empty our stuff into chests. Chests are also gone after a day. If I put things into a chest, it is gone forever, um, is a rule we're going to have to say. But, um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be uh, a lot of fun. Also, I don't think armor should count. Actually, you know, okay, you know, I, I, I like your thinking, bird for life, but I don't want to be undemocratic here. Um, what, what do you reckon, chat? Is armor an inventory slot? Let, let, let's do a poll. Let's, let's work it out. Oh, there's actually a ruined portal right over there, which might be the perfect thing for day two. So day one is about surviving this mess. Um, we can even set our spawn point even. And day two is going to be a never day, I think. Uh, we, we could do the never on day one, like set up the portal at the very least. But I think just being prepared to do it on day two. Wait, yeah, actually, yeah, let's 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 skip ahead the whole progression if we can. Um, if we can get to the never early, we and then we just need to get one eye offender on our second or third or whatever day. Also, it's very weird what's happening here. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel with it. Is this is this normal? Is this just, okay, that's just what you do. I'm just gonna leave you be, and <laughs> I'm gonna get myself into this structure over here. I love woodland mansions, because they give you all the tools that you need to easily get in. I'm not just gonna mine my way in my fist like a peasant. Uh, also, uh, destroy armor every day, no armor. Yeah, I, I, I can see the logic that it is an inventory slot. I kind of lean towards that personally. Um, but again, I, I, I would hate to claim something is an inventory slot when Many people believe it's not. By the way, one of the best things about the update uh, that came out today, I'm obviously playing a preview and not it, but the ability for your inventory to stay like, you know, like fixed basically, very, very big improvement. Huh, cobblestone looks a little bit blue. Uh, someone should ask it what is wrong with it. Also look, there's cows in here. Is this, are there meant to be cows in here or, you know, it's not, it's fine. There, there's not cows in here anymore. That's, that's what really matters, right? And, uh, oh, this guy becomes a lever worker because he can access his table now. So, um, yeah, this is a really spooky place with the, with the lighting changes, huh? But we are going to eat as much as we can because food, you know, this is the whole thing about when you die, you can't take it with you. It's something, oh, there's an iron golem in here. <laughs> that's useful. That's very useful. Um, so that's my source of iron worked out for tomorrow. 
Um, we'll work out. We'll, we'll go find some other secret rooms in here, maybe. Uh, easiest way to find is get a creeper. Get him to blow up. Is there anything through there? Not that I see. So we'll blow that up again. Break through the rest of the wall. As you can see, there are some zombies in here. I thought they were villagers, but they're not. Um, I believe when you dig below the chest, you find the weird piece of armor. Also, it's so dark. I need some coal. It's so... This is, like, spookily dark. I, I do like this better than most, uh... Oh, no, it's not... Is it not down here? Is that not a chest? I can't see anything, chat. I feel like... I feel like it is this room that gives you the... No, I guess this room gives you the axe if you look below it. There's a pair of leggings in here somewhere, and I'm just desperately looking for it. I'd say armor slots are not inventory slots since you cannot place any items in there. Um, this guy is just really fast at dressing and undressing again. <laughs> yeah, that's the, there's an interesting thing about what is an inventory, really. Also, I realize we've got torches up there. Let's just grab one and then inventory. There we go. And now we can place it down. Oh, yeah. Isn't that exciting? Then we can break that again. And we'll see what's in the next one over here. Ooh, what do we see? I see... Okay, so yeah, we're going to take this into all the dark rooms. Like when we break through this wall and we don't know what we're about to see. That is hand... Okay, this is the room that I was thinking of. Also, we are so dead. Um, I don't know what my plan is precisely. Okay, dead. That's fine. Should have... I, I said I should have set my spawn. It was one of the first things I said I should have done. Um, getting, getting cornered by two skeletons is a bad death. It seems unavoidable. But the real way to avoid that was just to not go into a dark room until I was sure it was in there. Uh, two skeletons was brutal, though. I I should have... I, I mean, yeah, honestly, what, like, should have had a shield? Should have had armor? What could I have done? I'm, I'm on day one, and I'm taking my nomadic life to an extreme by not just deleting my inventory at the end of the day, but dropping it on the ground anyway. Also, I'm going to give us a prime, because this looks sick, not going to lie. Yeah, I, I, do, I do love the way this looks. It is a... It is a big improvement over just the ray tracing stuff. Um, very, very, very pretty. Um, I have a whole video about the, like, comparing this to ray tracing in case you want to see it at some point soon. But, uh, yeah, let's dive in. Oh, yeah, look, look at these bubbles. Something special going on there. And let's get out of this. And let's go right back in, pretend none of that ever happened, and get my efficiency two leggings. Don't we all want them? Um... Odd color from the, uh, oh, okay, so that's a villager, I hope. Yeah, when you can't see through, the, the fog is really weird, because there is light in here, right? But we still can't see through it. There's a fog being added, almost. Like, look at this wall. Why is it like that? What, what could possibly, is, is it only, is the, uh, is maybe the issue that only the sun is causing light? Okay, whatever, it's fine. What do we got? A chain helmet with efficiency one. Chat, they've, they've changed. They've. They, the, the, the efficiency helmet has gone from being lever to being chain. I wonder how that even happens. I, I really would love to know. Um, <laughs> it feels like a fun, fun bit from Mojang at this point. Which I, I admire them for sticking to. Go! Okay. So one more hit before he hits me again. Okay. I said I should have slept in a bed. And somehow I still got killed by the exact same source a second time. Um, absolutely disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. Um, explain the nomad challenge to me, says Anakin low ground. You know, Anakin, I should have taken the high ground so I wouldn't have to explain it to you. Um, but the idea is, is that every single day at the end of the day, which, is it coming soon? It is. We're going to delete our inventory. Um, so that when the next day starts, we're starting over fresh, you know, like a nomadic person. I will also have to move by them. I can't just be in the same place. And so it's going to force me to continuously... Start from scratch, but towards the same common goal. My common goal is obviously to make it to the end of the game. Uh, that would be pretty cool. However, um, that would be pretty tricky. That, that's going to be pretty tricky, you might say. Uh, rightfully so. And so, yeah, I've got my kind of strategy for tomorrow. I found a ruined portal. I've got some water buckets. I, I've got all the good stuff. Why are you so buggy? I'm going to punch you, maybe. Does that fix you? No, nope, no. Nope. If, if, if someone looks weird and you punch them, it does not solve the problem. It just gets a much bigger person angry of you. Please don't kill me. Okay. He doesn't know I'm... He doesn't know I've done something wrong. So now we're going to grab it. Oh, no issues whatsoever. Put this on. And we're out. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I get like a... A good grasp on what is inside this structure. Um, we're going to kill any other animals we find here. I, I really can't get over the fact that there's just random pigs walking around this place. Uh, there's cats as well. It doesn't feel like a true Woodland Mansion. And, uh, oh yeah, look how, look how much better it looks outside. 
That is the problem with the deferred rendering. It's like inside it just looks so spooky in a wrong way. And we'll continue looking around until we find some stuff. You want to set your spawn? I'm pretty sure I set my spawn that time. Did I not set my spawn? Did I did I walk past it thinking I was setting my spawn and then not do it again? Okay, so let's just grab some red wool. Hope he doesn't notice me here. I am, you know, this. Uh, he's, he's not going to. Oh, no, no, he noticed. He noticed. Um, and then we're going to walk back through this. One hit did nine and a half hearts, right? Did I, did that just happen? I feel like that did. And then he's not following me. Yes, he is. Okay, okay. He's running. He's running. So I'm going to walk him towards my iron golem. And I'm just going to back out of the case. So iron golem is busy, but that's fine. I'm just going to place a block there. Sorry. He can't get over. Problem solved. Now we can make ourselves a bed. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Golem has got me covered. And now we make a bed inside this place. Right next to the golem would be convenient, actually. Um, respawn point set. And so now if I die, it's... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna die. Actually, that's convenient. That saves me from a creeper death. Run right past that. The creeper explodes. Not quite destroying my bed. Okay, destroys my bed. <laughs> and uh, don't, don't question the number of deaths we've had so far. And so that for this for this challenge to work, I basically have to think not about current stuff. I'm only thinking about moving the game further forward. And so tomorrow I'm going to the nether with no stuff. I'm going to want to have a totem undone. So I set my bed up in a way where I get an axe real quick. I go find a, a evoker. And then I get to the nether and make the most of my full day. Turn off fog, please. Yeah, I think I think that's the, the thing we've got to do here, right? Let's uh let's go into our settings. Let's uh oh no, we're gonna die if we do that. Okay, so sorry. Let's let's kill the spider first, as you should always do. Then we'll go into the settings. We'll see it. I think it is that volumetric fog or whatever it's called. Let's just turn that way down. Shadow quality, you know, normal normal shadow quality looks great to me. <laughs> it actually does look much better now, right? Um tiny difference, but an important one. So now we're going to set down our bed near the staircase to the top floor. Um, assuming it has one. I, I'm pretty sure they always have a top floor. But just to be sure, we'll make sure we find it. It's not over here. It's not over here. We'll, we'll break for a wall and we'll find it that way, I guess. Are you over here, staircase? Oh, nope. It, yeah, there's... Okay, so I guess we could stack ourselves up if worse came to worse. But I do need to find... Okay, here it is. Here's the staircase. I go to sleep right here. I may not rest. There are monsters nearby. And then as soon as I rest, I have to throw all my stuff on the ground and not reclaim it. Which does sound real bad. I wish I hadn't picked up those gold leggings. I could have had them tomorrow, chat. I could have had them tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, what we have to do now. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Uh, drop it, drop it. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Okay, this is actually a pain. Let's drop, 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 drop. And chat, uh, we haven't come to a full conclusion because we didn't do a poll yet on... Uh, on armor. So for now, we'll say even though this is the, the legendary efficiency one hat, the efficiency one hat, you know, the efficiency one hat must go. It's sad to say that it must go, but it must go. Um, and so now we go to sleep and tomorrow we wake up with nothing. We start all over again, effectively, in a brand new biome, uh, or rather we have to travel to a brand new biome. We're not going to stick in the same place every single day. Uh, we can use the start end of a day to connect to the to start of the next one. For now, this is my last day in the mansion. Let's make it count. So first things first, we need wood, we need stone. We make a stone axe or a sword or something. Uh, I didn't realize my food situation would be so... Okay, so we eat that rotten flesh. That fills me up. Thank God it's just on the ground. I didn't pick it up. It's not my food. It just happened to be there. Then we make a crafting table and some sticks as fast as we can. Um, then we're going to need to break another one of these to get a pickaxe going. Then we get, we have to do the whole tech tree again today. And it will be, and then after we've done that, all of our problems go away. So, wooden pickaxe in, straight into the stone. Get enough stone to make a sword and an axe. I'm not going to make a stone pickaxe yet. Even though that seems like a handy idea, but <laughs> let's just not do it. Um, make a few more sticks and make a stone axe and a stone sword. Now that I've got both these two things... I am going to do the very ballsy decision of trying to get a a totem bomb dying. A totem bomb dying is really, really good long term and really good short term. Like it sucks to- oh god, okay, I forgot that you- I forgot they do so much damage. Um, yeah, nine and a half hearts of damage is just too much. I, I don't know what to do- what to do about that. Um, so we're just going to find a- wait, what? Oh, did you see that? I was- 
I was hitting him. He, yeah, how did he hit me through? Okay, it's fine. I, I, oh, okay. So it, we're almost immediately dead again. That's the bad news. The good news is um, that we can... Okay, we, we're dead again. That's fine. It's, again, that the it's only the end of the day that resets me, not the deaths. I feel like if you you could probably make a more airtight uh, game mode by making it the deaths that reset too, but that's fine. I have not done so. We're going to run past them. Run past him. Get trapped in a corner here and then just accept that we're going to... Oh! Ha! <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they're attacking me at such great distances. I know the Vindicator is powerful because of their range, but it, it feels unfair sometimes. It feels like you never stood a chance. And sometimes I start to think that you don't. Okay, it's over. Okay, okay. We got this chat. I have, I'm, I'm in over my head. Hard difficulty plus Vindicators plus no armor means one hit KOs lots of the time. Uh, I don't know why. Are they doing, like, critical hits sometimes, but not others or something? I don't know where my stuff is, and I don't know where the evokers more crucially are. Come on, please. Please, my friend. You, you need to You need to not. <laughs> they put their arms together so quickly after I die. Um, I don't think there's a single evoker in this whole place. I think my whole strategy is built on a brutal idea. We're, we're having a great time. They, they, they attack from such odd angles. If you, I think you have to be straight on to have a chance of hitting them before they hit you. They definitely have a greater reach range on, uh, okay, so, yeah, we're just gonna walk around him, knock him back that way, and then get around, yes, okay, we're through. So I need to get my old stuff back, I have no idea where it could possibly be, it's in that left room there. Then we need to find an evoker. Oh, how is there one of you up here? How is that even possible? Oh, okay, there's a witch, she's just started to fight, I hope. Now we grab our stuff, it's in here, you can see there's some sticks. And then there's a, uh, and then there's some blocks. These are just no. This this is not relevant. And oh god, please stop throwing things at me. This <laughs> oh, there's the uh, okay, there's the shipwreck. We're gonna go for the shipwreck this time instead. We're gonna accept everything I got so far was a lost cause. That sucks. That was a whole part of my day plan that has just gone out the window. Um, but as long as we don't get hurt, I'm gonna walk around the outside where no one expects me, straight to the shipwreck because that's been chaotic. That has been too chaotic. By the way, uh, Jaden Knott, you are uh, almost a member for a year. I'm excited for you. I, um, it's it's good to hear. I, I IBX is being hunted, says Sunel. Mehmet. It's it's very true. I sometimes this happens to you. Uh, okay, so in we go. In here we're gonna find. I mean, I'll take it. Protection free. It's better than no protection, right? We got some bread. That's probably enough for the whole day. And is this the only chest in there? Yeah, it is. So we still need iron from elsewhere. And I still would like to get my hands on a totem undying. What do I have to do to get one, do you think, chat? I, I don't I don't know what, what it is. I, I assumed they'd just be hanging out on this top floor. There'd be no issues of me going in and getting one. But seemingly, it's a bit more than that. So let's jump off instead. Let's just go kill the, tot uh, kill the golem. And make sure we at least get into the nether today. As our biome of the... Oh, this is the wrong part of the village. Hello, guys. Don't mean to intrude. Not here to be rude. I'm just going to grab a bed and get myself out of here. So, um, yeah, I um, make uh, evoker command abilities and commands recently. Oh, that's awesome. I, uh, I think one of the cool things about Bedrock is they're effectively making coding and stuff into Minecraft easier. Uh, you know, like terrible for a whole new generation. It's, uh, it's one of the things they're always pushing and, like, it's... You know, like, maybe a lot of people, like, don't pay attention to it for that reason. But it is actually very cool. Uh, like, on every level. And it's, it, I'm glad they're doing it. I, I think it's, uh... I think more people learning just to tinker with stuff, you know, just to goof around of it here, there, everywhere, is a generally good thing for our generation. There's a lot of people, I, I think the term is, like, iPad babies. <laughs> it's, like, uh, people who have no concept of, like, how anything works. They just know how it gives them what they want. Which is, like, understandable. It's like, oh, that was easy. <laughs> Wonderful. That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Um, it's a it's a thing that exists in all aspects of life. Like, you know, I, I don't understand how electricity works. I just expect it to be on when I turn on a switch, right? Um... And so, but it's it's cool when you understand the underlying behaviors that affect the world that you live in and care about. In my opinion, at least. Maybe we should all not care about anything and it should just magically work for us. That is also a valid, if strange, opinion. 
So now we're going to make one more crafting table. I should have probably made more sticks, but again, it's all going to vanish tomorrow, so... If it all goes terribly for me, I'm not mad. And we're going to set up a miniature base here that tomorrow me can appreciate too. And then we're going to place it down. Can only sleep at night and during thunderstorms. So that's fine. Then I'm going to make myself a bucket. And then I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to make a nether portal. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a terrible acid reflux recently. <clears throat> you know, why is it even called acid reflux? It feels like warm. It feels like there's curry in my stomach or something. Anyway, um, I think uh, one hit KO, now you're the Vindicator. <laughs> you know what, Dasher, you're right. I, sh I should have thought about it that way. It's not <clears throat> It's not that the mob was weak and I killed him. It's that I am a Vindicator. It is hard difficulty, and so he had to go down. Honestly, yeah, the Iron Golem is one of the harder mobs to kill. I... <coughs> Ooh. I, I think I'm now going to uh, do the classic version of this technique. So we'll place this down with like a hole over here. I probably should have a pickaxe out. In fact, I, 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 I instinctively removed my wooden pickaxe thinking I had a better one, but I do not, which is a problem. And uh, yeah, now we're going to filter the water down there. We're going to grab some lava and we're going to put it in the hole. Easy said and easy done. As you can see, I am building a never portal and it's going to take me places. Um, so yeah, the cool thing about the nether portal is, unlike everything else, because I ex I dispose of my inventory every day, but the progress I'm making in the actual world can stay. Because obviously, you know, like, uh, that, that's kind of the way that we make forward progress, is we, we put it physically into the world rather than our inventory. And again, it's kind of that message I was kind of saying, like, I, I, I went through a death in a family recently. I'm not going to pretend I'm unique in that. I, I feel like, um, everyone, everyone has some huge loss in their life. Um, and I, I, I know, like, trying to, trying to explain any form of loss like it's unique is like, no, like, I, I feel like loss is one of the, the central themes of what makes us human, uh, if I was to be, uh, perfectly frank. But, um, the, the much more important thing than what I was saying there is the fact that, um, the, the, the thing about it that almost everyone goes through is realizing, like, oh yeah, you can, you can spend forever, uh, preparing for something, and it never actually come up, and... The last example of that is you can't take everything with you when you die. And so this challenge is forcing us to live that way, but in Minecraft. We can't take stuff with us when it all resets. So we have to make a difference to the world itself, right? Uh, which is indeed what I am here to do. Let's eat the pork chop, actually. As we go through the portal, we have about 12 minutes left in the day before we have to delete our stuff. Let's see what we can find at that time. Again, we don't actually want to kill anything. By the way, I've got, I've got a very festive cup and a very festive drink here. Um, and, uh, oh, wow, oh, this looks so weird with the, the deferred graphics. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in lava. Okay, am I dead? Am I, is it over for me, chat? Um, probably not, right? Okay, let's get somewhere away from lava just in case. Okay, I'm alive. Barely. Uh, it's laggy, and I can't see much, but I am alive. I forgot that this was the worst never spawn. I forgot, that's one of the key characteristics of this seed. I don't know where the portal, or where the fortress, or where the nearest bastion would be. And I regret wanting to know. Um, I'm hoping that this lag will go away. If, if you're seeing any lag, chat, I'm sorry. Can't see, hee-haw. Okay, yeah, we can only really see lava. Is that, is that intentional? Is that what the game wants for us right now? Yeah, right now, this is, this is unplayable. Um... Like, I'm not gonna live very long, let alone... Oh, yeah, see, I can't, I can't get away from stuff. Wait, what? How, where did the magma cube? Like, I, I saw the magma cube be attacked. Okay, you know, it's fine. So we have to turn down our something in here. I guess just render distance for now. Nice and easy. Turn that down a notch. Go to sleep. Lose our inventory for the day. And then accept that, oh god, I have not prepared for this in the slightest. But I'm still going to do my best today. So, new set of gear. Um, we've got a new nether portal, though. So, we're, we're still... Again, we're making forward progress. But it's like, you know, the three steps forwards, two steps back. That is how we must get to school. Um, but school is an ender dragon. And, you know, has it's, anyone ever tried walking that way? It's a great way to realize how close everything is. I was reading, um, I was reading a thread the other day. 
uh, yesterday, actually. On, like, you know, it's, it's 1 a.m., you should be sleeping. And I'm reading about people who move from the city to the country and don't regret it. <clears throat> and so, they're talking about, like, their favorite things. And they're like, you know what's great? Is, like, we can just drive for an hour in one direction without hitting traffic lights. It's wonderful. Like, without ignoring the crucial context that they have to drive in an hour without traffic lights to get somewhere. It's, um... It's like interesting perspective, right? That you can take almost any negative and turn it into a positive. And you can take almost any positive and turn it to a negative. Like, oh wow, I live so close to stuff that I, you know, like a, every one of these intersections is so major that it requires traffic lights is actually like a hidden upside hiding in your downside. Uh, well, so I'm going to make myself a stone sword. It just seems like a, like an essential thing. Question named at chat, but for Toy Cat, what block do you like most? Uh, the question is for stream most. You know, I'll let stream answer it then, Debbie Hume at home. I feel like it's one of those classic Minecraft questions that, like, I don't know what answer I can give you. Um, but I would like to give you one. I, um, also, woo, free turkey. I want free turkey. Give that to me. Oh, uh, I, uh, but yeah, I, oh, it's, it's coming from David Solomana. You hear that, chat? Free turkey is for everyone. That's definitely what I'm, I'm reading in chat right now. Um... Yeah, I, I, I build, build traffic lights. Yeah, you know, that's that's the solution. Build traffic lights everywhere. I Like, because what, what a traffic light actually just represents, right? Is when multiple junctions come together and there's so many people that you need to have it. I don't know, I guess it's like every good sign of population density can be a bad sign. Every, every you know, like, um, and every good sign of every bad sign that there's no people here can be interpreted as a good thing. Like, I love going to, like, a... Oh, man, it's so laggy in this biome. Like, I turned it down. But it's still just impossible to do anything, chat. I'm just... I'm just... I'm just... I can't... I can't live like this. Also, I have no food. Uh, I guess I could make myself some mushroom stew. I guess I'm gonna have to, right? What else am I gonna do? Okay, so that's fine. I'm gonna find myself a... A never fortress today. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be wonderful. Um... I'm not going to be able to get any blaze rods today. But then I just have to get a blaze rod early on. Go to the nether fortress. Get an eye fender. And then find the the stronghold. And then once I found the stronghold, I'll make a... Oh! The... It's so painful. It's... I... This... this Not not having food is a, is a hard one. So we need to build up a decent supply of food. And not go to the nether too early. Or we could just go across the world... Like, if this never spawn sucks, it's entirely possible to just avoid it, avoid it, right? We need to move around the world anyway. Why don't we just move around it in a more consistent way? Yeah, 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 let's, let's go for it. When the never is that bad, and, you know, like, I I, I feel like this is a, a total reset. Try again. Nope, that's that's not good enough. Not accepting it. Um, you know, you just you have the, the right and the ability to do that. And so today I'll be exercising mine. Uh, I don't know what's over here, but we're gonna find out together, chat. Yeah, find a better never spawn. Yeah, one of the one of the beautiful things about not doing a speed run is we don't just have to commit to our first option. We can say, <laughs> nope, bad never won't be going in today. Uh, and so you better believe that is my plan. Not going into that never, we'll find a better never. With blackjack and hookers. Your arm has a shadow, but your body doesn't. It's weird. In, when you're in third person, your body has a shadow. But when you're in first person, only your arm does. I'm guessing it's because when you're in first person, the game doesn't actually render you as a character for your screen. It renders other characters. But I'm, you know, like that's, it's, it's a small difference when you think about it. But it does save the game some unnecessary rendering. Like I could never see myself. Maybe like in the reflection of the water or something. Is there other reflections in the water? I don't think so, but... You can never actually see yourself. Um, and so, as a result... Uh, also, Nomad, how can you be Nomad in these conditions? I'd be yes mad. <laughs> You're not too, too right, Alex Leo Wolf. But, um, yeah, I think, uh, I think ultimately... Um, the, 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 the right to say no is a very valid one. Remember it in your Minecraft world. Reflections coming in 1.23, it is known. I mean, it's one of those features where, like, if they added a mirror block to Minecraft, 
It massively complicates the game. But it would be cool. It's a really fun idea. It seems simple. We have mirrors in real life. Why don't you just add a add a block that has a mirror reflective surface? But then you realize there's a lot more like programming and code required to that. Also, another shipwreck. So we're, we're I, I felt like it was getting dark. Chat, do you feel that? Like it feels like it's like the end of the day, but we've still got like four, five, six minutes left. So it might be worth raiding the shipwreck. Or we could use the shipwreck as a we know we can come back here tomorrow thing. Um, also, where's the world gone? Where, chat, why is my render distance vanished? Is this, is this an artsy thing? Has it started raining? I'm, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so scared. Okay, so we're gonna go to sleep. You can't sleep underwater if I'm not mistaken. Very, very annoying of Minecraft to enforce that. You know, it does, doesn't make any sense to me. And then we're gonna go back up and pray that my render distance has come back. Why is it so low? <laughs> okay, so whatever. We're just gonna, we're gonna get in the ship. We're gonna see if there's some great iron for us. I can't see. That's a door. That's nothing more over here. Get out. And okay, easy enough. I do know this was the way out, but uh, the terrain is not helping me with that. Also, um, I think it's the clouds that make it look darker in veins. Wait, where? So my render distance comes back now I'm at the edge of the water. What happened there? Is that a is that a bug? Kill fish while you're at it. I think I'd rather eat raw chicken. I like to live life on the edge that way. Um, yeah, you know, raw, when has raw chicken ever done anything negative to anyone? Seriously, name name one case. I don't think you can checkmate. But uh, you know, actually, let's see, let's let's kill this uh this pork over here. Get just that little bit more hunger. So I go into tomorrow a little bit more successful than today. Um, three pork chops, one right now, one for when I've regenerated, and then one for just in the morning before I sleep. Then we'll go find another never portal, and we'll just pray it's not a. Oh, we found a trail ruins. That's cool. It's nothing I can do with that, but it's cool, right? What should I, what should I do about it? Is there, is there something good I could do about this chat? Like I could dig down and I might find some, I could brush it and yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure I can do much of any of that, honestly. So, um, shaders make my computer fans go burr. Oh yeah, right now though, it's winter. So I appreciate the, like it's creating extra heat for my room. Because fun fact, basically everything that uses electricity creates heat. It's a, it's a near one-to-one -one of like electricity is almost all lost through heat output, even when you're trying not to make heat. And so if your fans are going brrrr, that's because they're blowing away the hot air. And so you're getting a free space heater. Uh, and in the summer, it's brutal because you're, you're paying for something you're later going to have to get rid of. Um, if you have air conditioning. And if you don't have air conditioning, you're making your life more miserable. Lose, lose there, really. But, um, yeah, otherwise it's good. I, so can't, you need red stained glass paint. I mean, imagine what a red stained glass paint could do for me. It's limitless things, I tell you. Limitless things. But, uh, positive outlooks on life with Toy Cat. <laughs> you know, some people would say that there is no way you can be positive in today's world. I would say you can always be positive or negative. It just depends what you feel like. You know, just had your... you just been ran over. You know, you could feel sad. Or you could feel like you're about to make a lot of money. Uh, depending on the country you're in. I uh, I hear being run over is big money. You know, you get... You, like, you know, think about how... Uh, you, you, you get paid for lost income. Which is great, because by the way lost income works... Is you don't have to work to earn that income anymore. You get it paid to you by some... Anyway, long story short. Maybe getting hit by a car is the best thing that ever happened to you. Um, you haven't set them on fire yet. I haven't set anything on fire yet. My kids use electricity. Why are they not generating heat? I mean, actually, they are, though, right? You're, you know, you know like, uh, I, I didn't, I've never truly appreciated how much heat humans make until you have, like, a party in your house or something. Uh, and you realize, like, just how, like, especially in the hotter months. Body heat just adds so much temperature to a room. It's like ludicrous the amount it goes in. Um, 
and again, you, you just you just don't realize. So you you have a lot of people in a space where you previously had not very not very many. Even like I don't know, like getting on a bus or a train, it's always warm, right? Because people are miniature heaters too. Like you heat a heater up to like you know a hundred degrees or something, and people only go up to thirty eight. Uh, that is Celsius to be clear. But um, yeah, the the same. Do you hear that music? Oh, it's update quad music. In my mind, I hear it as um, creative music. It's got a similar vibe, right? Do you hear the creative vibe to this song, chat? But uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just out here. I don't want to give up my my place to sleep for the night until I'm good. I, I don't have anything to lose, but I really want to find a p pile of lava somewhere because that's what I'm gonna need before I can confidently sleep. But if I if I keep seeing skeletons, I'd rather. Die. I'd rather lose my bed than die a thousand blocks away from spawn. Just come on game, give me a village. If I don't have a village, I know for a fact I'm not getting iron easily. So we're just gonna keep on going till we find one. We could get a boat tomorrow maybe. Oh, do you see that in the distance? Chat, there's a there's purple in the distance. Does that mean there's a never portal there? What does that mean? Is that Do you see it? Oh, it's a ruined portal, and those are... Okay, so that's perfect. This is the place to go to sleep. I'm gonna sit down my spawn point, and my crafting table, and then get right to bed. Okay, go. Okay, before I sleep, though, place this down, throw this down. It has to all be gone. Actually, wait, I'm gonna eat the pork chops. Gonna just eat those real quick. Um, okay, so drop, drop the feathers on the ground. Drop the seeds on the ground. Eat the pork chops. Probably avoid the guy with the shovel. Although maybe, maybe he drops the shovel on the ground and that benefits me tomorrow. That would be something, huh? I just don't want to kill as many zombies with my fist. But if we have to do it, we have to do it. I would love to see some light again. I think that is the biggest benefit of these deferred rendering packs, etc. It's just like, there's so little light most of the time that when light comes back, you just feel so grateful. And you, just, you feel blessed by the sunlight. It takes absence of something to appreciate what something is. Um, anyway, yeah, that's, that was that was a waste of time. But let's go to sleep and let's enjoy day four with a new biome, a new place, and a new set of nothing. <laughs> empty inventory for another empty day. Uh, hopefully, it's not empty. So we've got a ruined portal. Uh, I actually don't know if it has lava. I should have really checked, shouldn't I? Okay, it's got the pile of lava. It's even got three obsidian and a golden axe and a golden apple and a flint steel. So we can make some good food. Sorry, sheep. Uh, we can go to the nether and we can... Yeah, we, we can get a good start on basically everything today. Remember, the golden axe, usually you would you should preserve. You should use it for real stuff. But in this case, we have a literal... You know, like we, we have an expiry date for the axe. So we might as well use it to get a good head start on wood. And maybe kill another mob. Uh, like a good mob, maybe. Just whatever whatever we can find would be great. Then we're going to use the wood to make stone to get iron to blah, 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 blah. Um, we we want to go up if we're going to find some iron, but yeah, let's let's do our best regardless. Because without a bucket, we're not going to be... Oh, no, please. <sighs> that was very unfortunate. Without a bucket, we are not going to the nether. And so we need one of those. I don't know how fire works ever. I don't know how that just happened. <laughs> but, uh... I feel like I'm getting some of the benefits of my cooked meat at this point. So, um, I think iron ore is a big priority. And finding a cave like this is a good place to find it. Oh, so there we go. Nice. Come towards me. I'll kill you. Pork chop. One more pork chop would be great. Uh, yeah, and I think this will be enough food for a bit. Yep, two and three. Or one and three. Should get me through the day. Not in a great way, but like in a... I'm technically through it that way. So now we're just going to look around for any source of exposed iron. If we don't find it, that does point to problems. Yeah, no, that's exposed copper. You seeing any iron down here, chat? Gonna be honest, I don't see anything down here. Like, this is what it looks like normally. I can see everything perfectly. I can see if there's any ores. And this is what it looks like with deferred rendering. I have no idea what blocks I'm looking at. Just good luck. <laughs> So we can get to stone, but how do we get to iron then? We seem to have cr we seem to have arrived at a crucial juncture, and not know how to get through it. So here is a much bigger cave, I'm guessing by the water flow. Um, I also cannot see. Oh, okay, that's weird. 
So we have to turn off our light so we can see correctly. Oh, actually, should we just do that with deferred lighting? Yeah, that's the solution, right? We just we just have to turn on our own light. Because there, without light, the game is very, very bad. Speaking of being very, very bad, one-click forest fire. It feels like it sometimes. It feels like it feels like that's all we invented. So we're gonna swim up here. That's not working for me. We're gonna swim up here, and you know, there we go. That's that's fine. No swimming needed. So I'm sure there is another cave that does have some iron easily found in it. But I think we might be better off getting in a boat and just looking for a shipwreck. At this point, at this juncture, let's do it. So crafting table, yoink it on the ground. Get in a boat. Go find a shipwreck. Do you see one, chat? I don't see one. I would like to see one. So, um, look for my ship, says Sussy Finley. Okay, I'm looking out for you right now. Where are you? To clarify, this is not a multiplayer server. That joke only works if you're aware of that. I feel like a lot of people do just play Minecraft on a multiplayer server. Like, in a multiplayer context, they're like, yeah, this is just how you play. I have my good friend Stevie hanging out here with me. Oh god, I forgot the render distance goes down when you're in water. <laughs> Why is that true? <laughs> Who wants this? Who is this for? Um, so there is a ocean ruin. Those don't contain iron in large quantities. I don't know what they realistically do contain. Like a stone axe and some wool. And uh, some, some coal, sorry. Maybe a fishing rod if you get really lucky. Um, I don't even know where to look for them, honestly. I don't even have a good shovel. So I'll break one block. Call it a day, and then say, yep, that was fine, but not for me. So, yeah, without a shipwreck, uh, we are just going to have to find the tallest piece of terrain, or find another cave. The cave, without cave, like, we'd be searching for a very long time, by the way. So not really ideal. Uh, I'm going to quickly turn off the, oh, no, I'm not. Okay, bad news. The, the third rendering doesn't turn off when you're in a boat. I don't know how that is a feature. But trust me when I say that it is. <laughs> the good news is... Oh, coal. Okay, so we're going to find some in here. I can't even light a fire down here. We, we do have some bubbles to breathe. Pro tip. Okay, looking good. Looking wonderful. Oh, iron. Okay, so now... If that is enough iron... Okay, there's iron over there too. So this is a bit of a risky strategy chat. But let's just go for it. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't know why I'm... Okay, so crouching doesn't properly hold when you're underwater. Useful to know. It's okay, though. So then we make a wooden pickaxe down underwater. I guess I could turn this on. It's just... It's just so useless. Like, I don't know how anyone's meant to tell anything at this level. But that's fine. Do you want to see it? Pro tip, don't shift on magma. That's a valuable lesson. I would say. Um, if, you do, if you like death. There's only one way that can compete with it. Okay, so back up here. There we go. Now we can make a stone pickaxe. We're going to get a little bit of water. Oxygen from this, rather. So swim upwards. Okay, so we're just going to swim upwards. Hold that down. That's our crafting table. There's no way to know that, though, right? Um, then we're going to take one of these blocks with me over to the... Oh, and there's, there's just magma right below it. One of these blocks is going to go with me over to the... where I'm going. Do you think this, this touches the surface at all? No, it doesn't. Okay, it just takes a while for the bubbles to form. And we're going to go find the iron. Oh, the, the, the thing went away. Do you see how impossible that is, by the way? Okay, so place that down. Hope that it starts working soon. Hope that it starts working soon. And then get on it and mine the blocks from here. Get free, free iron together for a bucket, and then into the <laughs> into the never we can go. This is a ridiculous challenge, but I'm down. Okay. Um, wow, it looks terrible under the water. Says Gage plays. Yeah, I have to say, um, th there's a point. Yeah, you know, there's, there's a lot of development that needs to be done on them. Clearly, that is one of the biggest bits. I guess let's go through here. Get some more. Oh. Yeah, just it just doesn't hold my, my crouching preferences correctly. But that's fine. And then let's get out of there. And finally... Okay, has that taken us an entire day? I really hope not. Now finally make a furnace. Use the furnace to go in there. And how much day have we got left? Plenty of day. Wait, do you look at the sun? It's like... 
It's going in an offset way. Chat, that's not how the sun works, is it? Is that how the sun works? Okay, it it feels like it's all the way over. Is, is that is that normal? Have I never noticed that? Isn't it meant to like be perfectly in the middle of the sky? Am I the weird one for thinking that it should be in the middle of the sky? Um, it is now. <laughs> okay, so let's make a furnace real quick. Smelt, go to the Nether. Good time. And then even if we lose, you know, once we made the portal, even if we lose everything, we're still set for a good day tomorrow. And even then better, we've still got all of today and tonight to get some stuff in. So please give me some stone real quick. One and a two and a three and a four and a five and a six, a seven and an eight. Perfect. We are ready to go. And oh, maybe we're not ready to go. Maybe, maybe we just need one more of these. And we got it. I hope we've got it. I My pork chop supply is going to have to carry me all the way through the rest of the day. But then I have a golden apple, which I'm going to eat just before night anyway. To get the absorption effect tomorrow. And... Yep, ready to go. Where's my... I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm making crafting tables everywhere today. But again, you can't take them with it when you're dead. That is the lesson. We're all learning slowly. And so I'm going to learn it right here. Put in my wooden pickaxe, because no one wants those. Plus some oak planks, I guess. And let's do it. Oh, um, who's gonna tell him it's not really square either? Is the sun not square in the real world? I'd swear it is. Wait, go take a look at the sun right now. That joke only works for people who have sunlight. But hopefully you went slightly blind. And you realized a valuable lesson. And if you didn't learn a valuable lesson, then I don't even know what to say. I hope you don't have a terrible house fire tonight. Because you're probably subscribed, and therefore you don't deserve one. Okay, so I can actually make a shield of the the last of these iron. I think I'm going to do that because I, <laughs> I needed a shield so badly last time. Um, just traditional, never portal style. No issues. Place it down. And place it down over here as well. And then place one down over there. Is that going to cause issues? That might cause me issues eventually, so we're going to be real careful about it. Place a block there. Yeah, this is real, real, real sticky territory, actually. So let's deliberately grab... Oh, I've got free obsidian to finish this. But if, if, it come, if it comes to it. If I mess things up too bad, I can always recover later. As long as I have at least seven blocks down. So now we're going to place another block, but on the... Oh, I guess just right there works. And just re really have to not mess this up in one more block. Then I then I'll have to make all the mistakes I want. Place that on the corner. Place this over there. There we go. Everything's good. No more issues. Also, by the way, all this gold will be useful in the future. There's like quite a few gold blocks here. A surprising number in my opinion. And that is really Oh no. Glad I despair. <laughs> Into the never, and we've got just over ten minutes till we have to do another wipe on our inventory. Please be a better never speed. Please don't suck. That's all I ask. What what is this? What what are my odds of having this happen, chat? Seriously. So, well, this 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 flint and steel will be gone tomorrow. So I'm going to use it to light up the Never because I literally cannot see otherwise, and I will die. Um, so I'm just going to place lava over there and hope that it burns some skeletons. Maybe somehow that works. <laughs> wow, perfect. Um, we have to place a lot of these these fire stacks around. I think. Uh, yeah, this is this is the worst biome to be in with deferred rendering. We have, and also there is a basalt delta right there anyway too. Just just in case, we felt we had some upside. No, it's all downside anyway. Um, <laughs> okay, it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna live. Uh, I did say I was gonna make myself a shield, and I think I'm gonna have to go double down on that pledge. Um, so oh, okay, we're back here. It's fine. Just uh, yep, carrot meat. Needs the shield. <laughs> this biome single-handedly is the reason I started using shields in Minecraft. Um, that's that's how bad it is, chat. Oh, why does nobody use two portals to farm obsidian? I think a few people do. It's not like obsidian isn't that rare of a resource at a certain point. That's why you're not saving too much effort. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh, I'm on fire. It's not fine. Um, 
Am I on fire again? Okay, so... Um, this is bad. This is bad. This is very bad. This is extra bad. Uh, I'm gonna make some fires. Light a lot of them. I... This is, this is so bad, chat. This is... This is terrible. <laughs> okay, I've got another boat. Hopefully I've got an arrow to go of it. I just need a fully charged shot. And then the gas is dead. No! Okay, it's fine. I could reset right now, but I want the I want the flint and steel first. I mean, I want the absorption first. I have no idea how to do the never and defer dread. Like, it just, it sucks so bad. But I'm going to try and get through this chat. There's gas and there's skeletons. And I have... I have no vision on my side, but I'm gonna work through those things. Okay, so everyone's fighting each other, which is exactly what I want. I'm just gonna run through all of this. Hope no one even notices me. Okay, okay, that was good. Reflected it, okay. So just burn, baby burn. There's nothing of value here for me. There's nothing, oh, it sucks so bad. Being alive is so terrible right now. It's close and to feeding time for my cat, so he's sitting here like me. Ow, me, 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 ow. Thank you so much, Chris H. It's so close to feeding time. I, that, I was so focused that I just started hearing that and wondered like, what, what have I just? But you know, what? that was a bit of positive. Oh, sorry, there's a, there's an Enderman there. It might be worth going to sleep actually. Okay, hear me out here. Um. So if I pick up a block at any point, it becomes part of my inventory, has to be destroyed. But what if we kill an enderman? Also, look at the way they're holding no blocks. It's just a bit goofy, if you ask me. Uh, I'm going to drop an ender pile on the floor so that future me has an ender pile. And then we're going to pray that I find a blaze rod tomorrow. And that alone will be game changing. Okay. Just, just come at me, man. Come at me again. Bro, that is terrifying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have to admit, with his eyes. Whole different experience. Whole different experience. Gosh just wanted to help you light up the never. Come on. I'm sorry uh, for slandering the ghasts. They were assisting me on my goal. Uh, they were also exploding it. So they were terror lighting me. But, terror, you know, terror is important. Even when it's bad terror. You know, we can't, we can't pick and choose the terrorism that we want. Um, for every, for, you know, it's for, for every good, I, I, I don't think this is a chain of thought that I can continue saying about affecting my ability to um, enter and leave countries in the future. So what I will say is, oh yes, I would, I do hate terrorism. It's bad. Okay, so that's, that's, see that enderpearl? Leaving it on the ground now. I haven't picked it up. It's not part of my inventory. But future me can take full advantage of that. So now I just need a blaze rod. I've got maybe four or five minutes. And I'm just going to get whatever progress made I can. Hello! New phone, who dis? That's an important question. Oh, so it's so hard to see anything. Who is dis? That is the question that we all should be asking ourselves, really. Finding, finding your voice. Finding the, the version of you that you believe to be your most authentic self is uh, surprisingly hard. Oh god, this is terrible. I Why are there so many ghasts, by the way? Also, this is a dead end. There is nothing in any direction of me. I, I thought I was just unlucky. But no, this is just... I've spawned into a, a, a never that is a hell fest. There is no way out of that. There is... How, how have I had that happen twice on the same world? <laughs> this is the worst never I've ever experienced. Um, the, the extra mob spawning is screwing me too. On Bedrock, too many mobs spawn. Um, it's been a bug forever. But the never has far too many mobs. Um, I, I think it also applies to the other world, but it's just noticeable. Um, so to, to get out of this is going to require something special. And I just can't, I can't put it off while I've got all these mobs attacking me. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Uh, so I didn't get the most important things. But I do have a bucket of lava so I can at least survive for a bit. And we can see if there's a fortress around here somewhere. I, I don't know where I'm looking. I, I, I mean, I'm not looking realistically. And then when I die, it'll be tomorrow so my inventory will be wiped by that. So let's accept there is a death and just make as much exploration progress as we can. 
Sometimes we'll lead down dead, dead ends. We'll be led down dead ends. But, uh... Sometimes we will... Oh, that's scary. That's fine. This is such a hellish never. <laughs> this is the never experience for someone who wants... Okay, so we're back here. Okay, this is a dead end. I'm in a cave that is just two biomes. It's the two worst biomes. And there's no way out without significant amounts and significant amounts of mining. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. I'm gonna pot take. Don't don't love that one. Um, I've got the golden apple though, so it's not all too bad. And if I just light this area up a little bit better, then maybe everything will go away and it will go back to being okay. I think realistically, I'm just gonna I've just gotta start mining. I've got to start mining a tunnel, and I've got to ignore everything that's on this side of it. If I see or hear anything over here, it's not my problem. You can't get me. You can't get me, and I can't be a- Oh, he can get me. I don't know how he can get me. I think he's gone to the overworld. Hope he has a good time there. You know, we all, we all need to go on adventures sometimes. I'm glad that he's found one for him. I don't have that flint and steel, so we can only get one light source in this tunnel. It's going to be a piece of lava down there. And we're going to have to rely on that lighting it until I go somewhere else. However, my time today has run out. We have but a few minutes remaining. And so what I'm going to have to do, chat, is reset, start all over again, and try to turn this into something later. So to save myself burning a lot of stuff, we'll get rid of everything in here. Uh, except my golden apple, which I'll eat just before I go to sleep. Um... Because that will be a big boon for future me. It'd be nice to have some real food before. But, you know, we, I can accept that that's not a realistic outcome right now. Uh, also, I knew that... Okay, I knew something went through. As you can see, tomorrow is here. So, we are going to find my bed. I guess we don't even find the bed at this point. We just say, new day is here. Inventory has been reset. It is tomorrow. So, first thing I want to do is pick up that ender pearl from earlier. If I can just find a blaze rod today, I can throw one eye offender and I can find the stronghold. And that's going to make an immeasurable difference. Immeasurable. Um, I, uh... Oh, great. There is a bug making 12050 unplayable on Windows. Good job, Microsoft. The good news is if they're really, really big bugs, they get fixed really quickly. They have good emergency bug fixes, I find. Um... I, uh, gapple up and go back to being a nomad. Yeah, I mean, I I am in a, a better situation right now. All I have to do to, uh, realistically make out, of it, make out of this good is have some good food so I go back to full health and, like, beyond. And then also have some progress made today, which is unshakably good. So, three pieces of stone. One and a two. And it's so weird the way blocks like persist on the screen. Very, very weird. Then we make a stone pickaxe. And I realistically am gonna want to go for a second stone pickaxe. Because I, I think it's gonna be a while of mining. I'm not I'm not optimistic enough to say that I'm gonna mine 20 blocks and find a fortress. We'll see what it takes. And I'll do what that is. In fact, maybe Yeah, no. Two pickaxes is, is still not quite appreciating the task enough. So I'll just get a ton of stone. Just too much stone for the job is the right amount of stone for this job. On the third stream of stream loss, on the third stream of stream, to that's my toy cat gave to me. Lots of Andrew in Thank pain you, comedy. Toy cat, all your efforts at entertainment are appreciated. Smiley Thank you. face, thumbs up, heart, I'm... Christmas tree, present, <laughs> Santa Claus. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you're liking it. I I do enjoy these silly challenges. Sometimes I'm midway through them. I'm like, does why, why am I putting myself through this? Does anyone, does anyone care? Am I, am I suffering? And people are going, yeah, it'd be more fun if he wasn't suffering. I think that's the worst thing about... Uh, I, I think that's, like, the worst fear. But, like, the realest one you can have as a content creator. is like, am I putting a lot of work into something when people would prefer less work? Like, it's one thing to fail at something because you didn't try hard enough. It's another thing to fail at something because you tried too hard. That's like a a disastrous feeling that is all is actually real a surprising amount of the time. Okay, so we're gonna smelt up my uh, raw beef. 
I guess we could go for more raw beef. Yeah, let's 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 let's, let's believe in ourselves. Let's get like a little bit more food, and uh, we'll, we'll chop down at least one more tree or something. Maybe make a stone sword. Yeah, that's that seems logical. Make a stone sword. I if there's a baby chicken, there's usually an adult to go with it. So we're gonna find that. Actually, the, the baby chicken follows the adult, so we could wait for him to grow. We can just leave him around. But realistically, if I want more food, I'm going to have to find it. Is that is the bee gonna give me food? Is the pig gonna give me food? He actually is, yeah. Here is the pig. There is my food. What a good trade. Okay, so as you can see, every day I'm resetting entirely, but I am building up to something, right? It's fun. This this challenge almost feels like me when I have like a real bad adversity coming at me and I die and lose all my stuff in lava. But that's happening every day. And it's teaching me a lot about recovery. So I I, I feel like I'm getting a real skill from this. I appreciate your misery, says um Dasha. You know what? Thank you. Sometimes that's all you need to hear is that someone is gaining from your pain. Um, I don't know if you should suffer just for content. Oh, I don't think... Uh, like, obviously, that's, like, something a bit more there. It's like, uh, not... not Suffering is the wrong... Uh, you know, actually, it's a, it's a valid word, but the, the point is to say sometimes are you, like, are you going through effort and work, you know? Because, you know, a, a lot of life is about, like, doing things you don't want to do. It's a, it's a hard lesson for some people. It's one you don't want to believe. By the way, James Marks, thank you so much for gifting five channel memberships. Um, I hope everyone enjoys their new ability to watch Toy Cat Bathing in Iron Roof. I don't know how you couldn't enjoy such an ability personally. But um, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so now we are... Um, what's the next entry in the Babes in series? <laughs> it's a good question, isn't it? Do, 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 Um, hey Toy Cat, how's your December going so far? Oh, uh, to answer your question about my December, I have to put on a formal voice and say my December is going pleasantly so far. No, I, um, I, also, uh, what I miss in the past two minutes, YouTube gives weird sponsors. They've, they've really tried to roll out, like, monetization for streams recently. I think I think they've got the wrong approach. I think, like every business, YouTube should focus on growth first and say, how do we get people watching on our platform versus others? And one of those valid strategies is saying, okay, well, we don't... We would rather have more viewers right now. You know, later you can make the hard decisions about monetization versus... Like, for right now, it should be focusing entirely on, like, yeah, we just want more viewers... Spend the money, make it work, then later switch over to it. That, that seems to be the tradition, uh, but they're not going for it. So we're going to just leave this, let it spill out. Um, as you can see, that, that lava's gone very strangely. And then just continue mining this way, I guess. Yep, seems great to me. I need to get... Oh, we're, we're really, really high up. That's why this is happening. So we want to mine downwards, basically. Yeah, we mine, we mine straight down. And if we mine down, then eventually I'll find something. I don't know what's down there, but we'll find out what it is. YouTube needs money, not growth. Um, so here's the thing. YouTube as a platform needs money, not growth. But in particular areas, like it's worth, it's worth expanding the, you know, obviously the ideal is to have both, right? The dream business has more customers every single day and also makes more money from each of those customers. But in reality, the reason marketing as a whole exists is because, yeah, it is a good idea to spend money sometimes so that you have more customers later. Or, or the old adage, it takes money to make money. Uh, if, you, if you feel like, oh god, it's, it's so bad. How? What's over there? How do I know? How am I meant to know? <laughs> it feels like I need to have torches in the never, and I don't think that's how I'm meant to feel. Okay, it's very dark chat. I'm trying to find something that's something. Okay, this, this cave leads me nowhere. Um, so we'll just keep on mining down. It's not the greatest of strategies. But it's a strategy. Uh, we could also go this way a bit, maybe. Just to see what's down the cave. It's just some light. It's it's nice light. It's very pretty. It's, it's very well radiated, I guess I could say. Uh, and then we'll continue mining down from here. Just see where it takes me, really. Um... Yeah, I, um, 
I, I think the... How do we know when the new dungeon update comes out? The new dungeon update? Also, I thought Google already had all the money to yam. But that's, that's the weird thing. I mentioned this on Twitter today. The... For... Notch basically made one of the worst decisions, financially speaking. His 2.5 billion purchase of Minecraft, or sell, sold of Minecraft, it's now worth something closer to 100 billion. Um, and so, also, it's, look, how, look how visible things get. The moment lava becomes visible, it's wonderful. So we'll just mine this way for a bit now. Use that light to hopefully see something. Yeah, there we go. Just, just keep on following it. Uh, if we don't see something soon, then we're we're lost forever, and I have no clue. But we'll we'll see what happens for us. I need to find a fortress. I really, 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 really do. And I've gotten to the point where I've now mined at the lair where it makes sense to. Him, which we keep on going forwards into the darkness. This is something I wish I could. I should find like a a resource pack that fixes this. Like true darkness in Minecraft shouldn't ever be true darkness for your viewers. Like, even if I didn't have to see this, but viewers, could it be great? But right now, I'm, like, this this sucks. Like, I'm mining I'm mining a black screen that occasionally goes white around the outlines. <laughs> um, it's one of my... This is a version of, like, suffering and thinking, oh, I think I'm making the viewer experience worse by suffering. If I wasn't suffering, you all wouldn't be suffering right now. Optifine fixes it on Java. I hear a lot of people switched from using Optifine recently. Uh, I, I think people are fans of, what is it called, sodium? I wonder why it's called sodium. Is there some pun about salt in there that I'm missing? Um, the dungeon that acts like as a battle arena that rewards you after completing rounds. Oh, the trial chambers. It is fun, like, uh, from an outside perspective. Like, if you follow updates a lot, it's like, yeah, everyone knows the name of these. Makes sense for some people. You're like, yeah, it's like, it's a brand new type of spawner in a brand new type of dungeon. It is fun, though, because the... Oh, man. The dungeon has basically existed... Um, okay, so just place that down. I didn't realize that'd be in the way. That's fine. Make two more stone pickaxes. And then just pray we don't need any more past that point. Chat, I, I'm having such a bad never. I've never had such a bad never in my life. Is it ever going to end? I'm, I'm committed to this. But I worry I shouldn't have. What? Where's... Okay, it's fine. I'm just, I just, I just gotta power through. Um, it's because it's salty to Optifine. It's because people are salty about Optifine. I can't imagine being sad because I got 2 billion instead of 100 billion. Especially in Notch's case because the 2 billion made him sad. <laughs> in that case, it sounds like you'd be better off having 100 billion theoretical money rather than 2.5 billion cash. I think it's a mistake a lot of, uh, like, you know, newly wealthy people make. Is thinking that money is money. But it's like, yeah, cash is the best type of money in that it can be spent the easiest. But it grants the least other benefits to you. Oh, God. Oh, no. But, but... Where did he come from? Okay, good news is it was already nighttime. Bad news is I'm dead. <laughs> well, there goes my whole strategy of having an ender pearl and a blaze rod, pulling them together. Where did he come from? I How did I have no warning? <laughs> So, it doesn't even tell me what killed me. It was probably a magma cube. Like, I feel like it was a magma cube. At least you won't need to clean your own tree for a you can. Ah, this is the worst never I've ever experienced. It usually doesn't suck this much, chat. This is an abnormally bad... Oh, I I'm going into the never with no blocks. What am I expecting to find? Yeah, this is... I should turn back, chat, but I've... It's called the sunk cost fallacy. And, um, if I can teach you about it, then maybe it will make up for all the terribleness. You have nothing to dig with. I have nothing to dig with. I have nothing to... to I, 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 can't, I can't do anything in the nether besides pick up soft sand. However, uh, I want to I wanna see this. I want to see what killed me, or where, where it came from at least. And I want to see... Oh, man, it's such a long tunnel. But there is a light at the end of it now. What do you have to lose? One sand. <laughs> oh, good point. Okay, Dark Detective. We should turn back right now. It's this. Is the, oh, and there's a crafting table in here. So we can bring our stuff in. Craft it in the nether. See? Should have been making crafting tables all the way along. Knowing this would have happened eventually. Oh, God. 
Where did it come from? I Even right now, I'm right here. Oh, I would have been a skeleton, I guess. So actually, this happens to be the one biome where I can break blocks in my fist. And we're going to make a little connection point. Like there. And now we can jump over to it. Oh, that's scary. Okay, so we're in we're in a hell biome with one soul sand block. Chat, make bets on how long I can survive. Is that a never fortress there at least? I there's no way of knowing. <laughs> this is Okay. This is a bad challenge for this. But we don't give up. We think about it. What can we do? We can pick up a strider. And we could use the light source to our advantage by using it as a mode of travel. Yeah, I have, I have the, the lava is so bright that you can't see anything else when there's lava on your screen. And then everything else is so dark that you can't see anything at all when there's no lava on your screen. You're either blinded or you're blind. I mean, I guess the, the never is a, is a dark and scary place. Um, okay, how long can I survive this? The, the good, good question. Bad answer. Oh, come on, let me, let me. Oh, there we go. Um, yeah, so the bad answer seems to be not very long. Um, it'd be nice if there was a good answer too. I don't think there is. It's so, it's, it's so ridiculous looking right now. Chat, can you interpret what's happening right now? I am, I am barely alive and barely able to. Okay, so if we run across here, we get to about 400 blocks on the x axis. That's where I expect to find a never fortress. If we don't, we're gonna move to the right. Oh yeah, okay, there's a ghast. If I can just kill the ghast. Where did the, oh, that was laggy, huh? Okay, so everything's laggy. That might work in my benefit. It's not working in my benefit. Um, oh, okay, it's over. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. So I, I think I'm gonna survive a Papa Heart. Oh, no, no, the skeleton's nearby. Okay, well, I didn't survive a path of heart. So that was brutal. Um, chat, what's the... What do you... What do you... How do I... How do I do anything? <laughs> what do I... What... What's... What... What can I do? Genuinely. I, um... I should have... I should have realized that I would be screwed in three out of five Minecraft Never Biomes. And I should have realized the chances of me getting it twice. But I'm going to work around this. Okay, so we're going to go into the ocean today. Um, and we're going to find some iron. Get enough iron to make a shield and... That's honestly it. Yeah, one iron would be great. Then once we have a shield... Even then, what does a shield do for me? Turn your difficulty down. <laughs> no, it is hard difficulty. We are on deferred graphics and our inventory goes every day. The challenge is the challenge, and if a captain has to go down the ship, he's not turning the ship's difficulty down first. Uh, I'm a bad captain. <laughs> Don't let me pilot your ships. Let's walk 500 blocks, then walk 500 more, uh, just to be the man of your desire and prevent your house from catching fire. Ultimately, what more can we do? Okay, I can. Also, I think I, I just took the wandering trader with me. <laughs> kind of unintentionally here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan this entire body of water uh, for any pieces of iron. It might be a bit late in the day. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Remember, dying is no option. No, no huh? obstacle for us. Why does the render distance go down randomly when you're on the water? What is it about... Is it the clouds? I mean, the clouds are doing something. You can see them in a, a dark patch from being below one. I have so many questions. Where are the big salmon? Yeah, you know, if there's like 10 times as many skeletons spawning in the never, surely there should be 10 times as many big salmon spawning in the water. He's just got a death stare at the back of your head. He's letting me know that he doesn't approve of this. Oh, he, he looked away for a second. He does not approve of what's happening here. Um, I think he's just struggling to render so much water. I wonder if that is actually it. The thing is, though, it's too perfect of a circle. Usually you can tell the difference between rendered distance and poor rendering. Because rendered distance being slow will leave chunks out of your world. But poor rendering is like, you will see your circle of render distance goes down. That's how you can tell that rain doesn't make it harder to render. It just cuts down your render distance. 
And the same is true right now. You can see, oh yeah, look at that. It's coming in. It's deleting chunks that's already rendered to make sure that it's foggy and impossible to see because I'm on the water. Oh, chat, you know what? The other day I was um I was mentioning the five personality traits. And I did get one slightly wrong. And I also missed out extra version when I was talking about them. Um, why are you not sinking? Why should I be sinking? This makes no sense. I, I've lost... <laughs> also, I didn't realize he has a llama on the back of him. That's very fun. Um, <laughs> when did where did he come from? <laughs> He's having a good time. He's having a very good time. Water in your boat? Oh, you're right. Yeah, the boat is filled with water, huh? That's that's very interesting. Oh, yeah, so the lead is not rendering. Instead, there's this... You can see my cape. Going through the back of the uh, the dude here. Um, water, water, abandon the boat. You know, the, the captain does not go down with a ship. Wait, no, the captain go down with a ship. That was the point I was just making metaphorically. And now I must make it um, uh, physically. Also, the captain's your first mate. See, in the UK, your first mate is uh, usually someone from, like, nursery or, or primary school. But in this case, I got a wandering trader. Basically the same thing here. Okay, so, outside of, uh, like, what can I do to survive in the Never that will work in just one day? Um, I really, I really am struggling with an answer to that question. Uh, I guess I can go in with some food, because I've got this furnace still. Go in with some food and a pickaxe, and just run around like a crazy man, like, like we usually do, to be fair. Yeah, I think that, I think, so why is the sun at an angle like that? Is, did something break? Is it like everything tilted a little bit? Bring lots of sand. Okay, so, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start tomorrow. Uh, as with every good thing, yesterday's, so you know what, today chat, we got some spare time. And I was talking about personality uh, traits recently and like what, what one's what. And so for this, the remainder of today, because I can do nothing, um, let's do something more fun, right? Okay, so, so chat. Um, I, I think I vaguely mentioned the idea that there are these different personality traits. And so I recently found a, uh, uh, this, this is scary. I'm going to just share with you uh, my screen. We're going we're gonna to pray that it goes well. Um, so I recently found a, uh, I, I, found, I found a website that claims... It's called Open Psychometrics. It claims to work out which of the different personality traits you have. And so I, you know, I couldn't help but be curious hearing about that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to... Is it this one right here? I hope so. There we go. Hello. This is the Big Five Personality Test. We're going to do a quiz about my personality while we wait for night time. So um, there are 50 different items that you must rate on how true they are on a five-point scale. And chat, if you think I'm in, if, if you think I got one wrong, I am the life of the party. I slightly agree. People like being around me. I feel little concern for others. I'm, I'm neutral. I don't feel a lot or a lot of concern. I feel the concern. I try to like bottle it in, keep it away. So that's, I think that's neutral. I get stressed out easily. Slightly agree. Maybe all agree. I am always prepared. Slightly disagree. At point in case, this run right here, but I should just uh, zoom this in. Okay, there we go. Look, look at that. Um, always prepare. You know, slightly smaller. Um, I would slightly disagree with that. I have a rich vocabulary. I read a lot of books, and so I think I have a better than average vocabulary. I don't talk a lot. Chat, do I talk a lot? I'm not sure if I talk a lot. I, I would say I talk. Uh, the normal night, no, I think I talk too much, some would say. <laughs> oh, no, wait, wait. I, I don't talk a lot would be I disagree. I am interested in people. Slightly disagree. <laughs> Maybe full disagree. <laughs> but we'll go slightly disagree. I am relaxed most of the time. I'm laid back, so yeah, neutral. I leave my belongings around. My crafting table is gonna have to put me on a grief for this one. Um, I have difficulty understanding abstract ideas. Uh, I think I slightly disagree. Um, I feel comfortable around people. I slightly disagree. I think I full disagree, honestly. 
I, I don't feel uncomfortable around all people all the time, but I feel uncomfortable around most people most of the time. I insult people? Chat, have I ever insulted you? Because if not, you're all sluts and you should feel bad. Okay, so, um, agree. Nah. Okay. By the way, we have to we have to keep an eye on like making sure. Oh yeah, we've been we've been shot at right now it seems. Okay, tomorrow tomorrow's almost here, but it's fine. I worry about things. I worry about things a lot. Yeah, I pay attention to details. I pay attention to details. I have a vivid imagination. No, I have a, I have a bad imagination. I keep in the background. I mean, I'm keeping Minecraft in the background right now. Does that what does that count for? Um, I keep in the background. No, I wouldn't say so. Um, I would you say I keep in the background? Personality test. Yeah, we're working out which of the five characteristics I have in which degrees. Because that's how you can summarize everyone I said. So I'm summarizing myself. Um, no, I don't really keep in the background. Uh, I sympathize with feelings. <sighs> Disagree on that one. I seldom feel blue. Um, I think my logo is green, so I'm pretty sure. Uh, slightly agree. I. I I don't know. I, I yeah. I'm, I feel like I feel neutral on that one. I make a mess of things. Uh, slightly agree. I'm not interested in abstract ideas. Disagree. I start conversations. <laughs> oh, it's hard. I don't like doing it, but I try. Uh, slightly disagree. I'm not interested in other people's problems. All the way agree. I'm easily disturbed. Um, nah. Slightly disagree. I get chores done right away. Oh, slightly disagree on that one. I have excellent ideas. Oh, I have the best ideas. Um, I have little to say. Disagree. I have a soft heart. I... It feels pretty firm, but that might be my rib cage. so I'm going to go slight disagree. I get upset easily. I don't want that to be true, but it's true. Um, I often forget to put things back in their proper place. Agree. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly agree. I do not have a good imagination. Slightly disagree. I talk to a lot of different people at parties. Slightly agree. I, I don't feel great about it. I'm not really interested in others. Um, you know, I, 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 I think I'm interested in others, but not that much. Neutral. I change my mood a lot. Slightly agree. I like order. Slightly agree. I'm quick to understand things. I try to quickly. I, I think I generally do. I don't like to draw attention to myself. <laughs> it's odd because I make a career out of drawing attention to myself. So I can't say I agree. So neutral. I take time out for others. I try to. I frequently have mood swings. I wouldn't say I have mood swings, uh, but maybe that's maybe that's what someone with mood swings would say. Um, I shirk my duties. Yeah, I wouldn't say that's true or not true. I use difficult words wrongly. Um, slightly agree. I don't mind being the center of attention. Eh, slightly agree. I feel, I, I guess, I, I don't mind it, so I, I guess I really agree. I feel others' emotions. I, I feel them. It's all good. Um, you are super interested in your other Mr. Cat. I, uh, would you do it if it wasn't your actual job, though? That's the messy bit, right? That's the really messy bit. Um, I feel other people's emotions. Yeah, more. I, I think in a way I don't appreciate all the time, but I do. Uh, I get irritated easily. Ah, this quiz is dumb. Why is it asking me these questions? <laughs> I follow a schedule. Um, no. I want to. I spend time reflecting on things. Uh, pff, neutral. I am quiet around strangers. Slightly agree. I make people... You know what? I, I don't think I am. I feel like it's one of those things I've tried to change about myself. Slightly disagree. I make people feel at ease. Chat, are you at ease right now? I'm just going to skip that. I don't know if that's true. I often feel blue. Eh, I don't know. I am exacting in my work. Eh, I guess so. I am full of ideas. Agree. Chat. So according to this, um, I would not want to help us. No, get results immediately. I am an extrovert with lots of intellect. Wait. So I in the I'm I'm I've got an intellect imagination. I'm I'm pretty emotionally stable. Um so factor one is extroversion. Emotional stability or neuroticism on the lower end. Uh, pretty pretty low. If you score high, you're characterized as emotionally resilient, calm, and even tempted. Oh, so wait, is this bad to score so low? So if I score low, I'm more prone to negative emotions such as anxiety, depression, anger. Ah, uh, you know, let's uh, ignore that. Agreeableness. Um, I'm, I'm, it looks like I'm pretty... 
I mean, we're really high or really low on agreeableness. So, so percentile means two. The second percentile means low, right? So I am not warm, kind, and considerate. I tend to not be cooperative and motivated to. Uh, if I score low, I'm more competitive and skeptical. They may even be less motivated to maintain social harmony and more likely to express their opinions forcefully, even if it may resolve in conflict with others. Well, that's apparently that's me. Um, conscientiousness. Uh, if you're low on it, more impulsive and disorganized. So I'm not that impulsive and disorganized. Uh, that's fine. Whereas factor five, I've got high imagination, curiosity, and openness to new ideas and experience. So uh, yeah, openness to experience. I tend to be intellectually curious. Uh, so but you, you can also define people by saying they're more traditional and conservative. If you're not open to experience, you like what you have just great. And yeah, why, why seek out novel experiences when you've already experienced the best? And then finally, back to this first one, extroverts, uh, which I am apparently high on, uh, is uh, whereas low, low extroversion is introvert and reserve. They may prefer to spend time alone or in small groups. And see, that's, that's how I feel, but that's how I try to be. <laughs> it's hard. It takes a lot out of me. It kills me. Um, anyway, so there that, that's what I am now. I'm I am the highest on Apparently on extroversion then on intellect then emotional stability and then conscientiousness and I'm very not agreeable <laughs> Who would have met who would have guessed chat who would have guessed okay, so there's some minecraft I believe I've got to be playing. Oh, it's not there. There's some minecraft. I believe I've got to be playing and um, I think I might have wasted a bit of a day anyway, so um, yeah the I think everyone can be defined by those five factors, basically, right? And I, again, like, basically anytime you summarize people down, people are like, but that doesn't summarize everything. It's like, it's not everything, but it is a very large percentage of what makes you, what makes you a unique person in a lot of ways can be basically summarized down to that. And if that doesn't sound fun to you, then it's okay. You know, you, you're still a unique individual person. Um, I don't like what it said about me. I, I don't like, it said, it said some mean words that I don't feel to be true. Uh, but also, if you, you really think about it, then you might find that it is anyway. So I'm just gonna grow some that because I've gotta use it up. And then we're gonna chop down some wood. Can't have all your stats bl uh, blew out, need some balance. Um, I think Toy Cat's answers are different than Andrew's. <laughs> Toy Cat is an aspiring extrovert. Yeah, I try all my, like, um, I think it's probably bad in the very, very long term. I think it's bad if it leads you to uh, negative outcomes. But I think desiring to be more than you are, or different than you are, like, you know, like, uh, on the emotional instability, or neuroticism spectrum, no one should desire to be neurotic. Um, I had the most neurotic, uh, housemate for a while, like, a tenant, whatever you want to call it. Like, she lived, she lived in my house. Um, and she was just, she'd be so triggered by such minor things. And some some people start to learn that like people get really people don't like how triggered you are over their things and they start to get it more and more like they get rewarded for their bad behavior effectively, um, and that's like a that's a terrible cycle. But it's what a lot of people like just learn is is how it is done. And so I think it is okay. I'm gonna get one cooked beef out of here and then use that to heal up as soon as the big salmon has done its work. Um, yeah, I uh. I think that's 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 the actual truth there. Also, yes, it was Andrew and not Toy Cat. You do make me feel at ease. Thank you. Yes, good point. Did you answer as Toy Cat or Andrew? A lot of creators will say they're effectively different people. And now there's definitely, there's like a truth for it. But I also think whether it's healthy or not, um, there's a lot of like what I learn, you know, it's like for any job, right? The person who goes and works at, like, if you work as a waiter and you go, Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to TGI Fridays. Well, the way it works at our restaurant is you order the food on the menu, and then um, when 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 it is done, we'll bring it out to you, and then you pay, and then you leave. Wow, I know, it's very unique. But, um, like, the, pers the, the person who has that personality um, is going to be different to you at home. But also, if you do that job long enough, I think it would seep into the rest of you a bit. You're not going to go up to your friends and be like, Hi, good to see you. Well, the way it's going to work for our social engagement tonight is we're going to go out to dinner, and then if we like it enough, then I will not feign that I'm really tired and have work to get to tomorrow, and then we will hang out again the next day. Okay, looking forward to it. Um, you know, that sounds almost like insanity, uh, does it not? So I need to bring a shield, but I didn't. I don't have a plan for that, so I'm just going to bring some magma and hope that this lights up the way. This is the best... 
best light source I've found so far. Uh, or a single fire charge. That, that'll do me some amount, I guess. <laughs> it kind of has to. Um, so, yeah, I, I think the... I think your... I think your... My livestream personality is a bit different from your IRL, says Chris Varner. Yeah, you would be insane if you had this personality in real life. Imagine if we were playing Minecraft in the same room. Or even weirder, I was playing with, you know, dozens of you, like we are effectively doing right now. Wouldn't that be literal insanity if I was speaking at this rate and uh, asking questions like, so how do you guys feel about the weather? I feel like, you know, like, just continue. It, it's not how real conversations and real things flow. If you're, but if, if, if you have this like a real conversation, that's also insanity, right? Like, uh, there's a lot of context to how you talk to people. If I were to talk to you right now, um, you know, if I was to have a normal conversation stopping me right now, that also wouldn't be very appropriate. Like, so, um, how's it going? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Um, I, I had a, I had a bit of a, like a, an issue of my work stuff today. I kind of lost something, but I got, I got the motivation ripped by the end and I, I came up with a really cool idea that I'm excited to work on tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't know if people will like it, but I, I, uh, you know, I, I made a video recently that I, I was like really excited for, spent dozens of my man hours on, spent uh, dozens of editor man hours on, and like, you know, it's, it, it, it did like kind of poorly by comparison, but it's what, it's one of those things that like makes me learn, and so it was, it was, it was interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to, uh, the weekend. Uh, but ultimately, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm having a pretty busy January. It's, it's an important month for me. It's kind of like, uh, you know, when people get paid. Um, oh god, it's so bright. Okay. It's kind of like when people get paid to, uh, you know, like time and a half or whatever people say. When you get paid overtime. My overtime is just one month a year. And this is that month. So I, oh god, just, it's, it's so brutal. It's so ridiculously brutal. One skeleton fight and I am dead. I have no way to fight back anymore. Um, I could probably kill the winning skeleton from that fight with a bow, but I can't see him. <laughs> is that him there? That is him there, right? Did I get him? I think I got him. Okay. So we're going to get more arrows from that, which we can use to kill more skeletons and get more arrows. I have worked out an arrow Ponzi scheme, and I will be using this to its fullest extent. Uh, I'm now basically out of magma, which is bad. I'm going to place a block down over here. And see if that helps future me. It just doesn't produce any light by comparison to the big, big abyss over here. But yeah, I think this way is the way to go. I think this was something. i got to take full advantage. It's so dark. Is up there the way? Up there is the way. What's through there, though? It looks so mysterious. It's like a doorway. Um, but yeah, the... Um, like, basically all human interaction is so context-dependent. And that is the hardest thing for a lot of people to... So why am I dead? Uh, no, 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 no. I can't be dead. I can't be dead. Why? I, I have no chance. I have no chance in this biome. With with one day's worth of stuff, I can't do it. That was like a... I was feeling so motivated. I was feeling so ready. I can't... I can't... I can't make it work, chat. I want to make it work. But I cannot. What, what can I do... Realistically, I could go search for a village and just dig down till I find a stronghold. But without finding this never fortress, which I cannot do at this level of lighting, um, I think I might be doomed. Let's row our boat into the sunset. Um, yeah, I think um, as an IRL nomad, I've never deleted my inventory daily. It's what happens at the end of every day. When you, when you move from country to country or state to state or province to province... Also, I love that the, uh, somehow the llama is skating along with me. I, um, but yeah, I, I, I encourage you to learn about who you are some amount, if only for the sake of either improving or at least knowing where your weaknesses are so that when it happens, I think even like just knowing like, oh yeah, I am in a bad mood and so I will feel this way and then counteracting it by being like, okay, Either I should try not to be around people, or if I'm in a bad mood, it's not that everything's terrible right now, it's that me is the thing that's different. Uh, and in the same way, I think whatever you learn from your job can kind of integrate into your real personality, hopefully in a way that is positive for you. Or maybe it can't. Maybe this is all terrible. For today, though, I, 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 I have suffered enough. I think if I was going to do this, I'd need to know 
If you knew, if you had a set seed where you knew the fortress and you knew uh, like a bastion, maybe if you knew the stronghold too, you could have quite a bit of fun with this challenge. But on a, it's not random seed, but on a seed where you have no clue about anything, spawning into the nether and the worst, but like honestly, all the biomes suck with that, besides the crimson forest and the, and the warp forest, which we didn't find today. It's all so bad, and you're just getting blasted randomly. Uh, but, if you want to try it yourself, <laughs> give it a shot. The seed's down below, this is using deferred rendering, uh, and, you know, sure. Oh, you can't actually turn off deferred rendering in a boat. I always forget that. It's something, something so strange about Minecraft. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you want to learn more about this beautiful set of graphics I've been using today, I've got a video coming out on Monday, hopefully. And, uh, for now, I look forward to seeing you all on Thursday. I think, okay, actually, I want to hear your thoughts here. Before we go, I hear there's a new Lego Fortnite game. And I, at first I rolled my eyes. And then I learned they're actually going, like, big. And, it, like, a part of me is curious, but am I buying into some wrong hype? Let me know. But I'll be streaming on Thursday. Because this has been the third day of streamless. And, uh, yeah, we need to, we'll, we'll, we'll chill out. We'll do some, we'll do some uh, survival chill. Because uh, I've been neglecting my Let's Play World a bit. For now, though, this was my second failed Never Portal. And uh, just for one more reminder, rather than dying peacefully in the, in the overworld, let me remind you of how terrible it was so that you can appreciate just how bad this will be if you try this. So I am no longer a nomad. Instead, as Pout puts it, I am just a mad. Or indeed a yes mad. Thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed today. Because I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, look, we found an Enderman. That's convenient. He sees me too. Goodbye. Stream's over now. There's nothing left in it. It's all gone. We didn't get to the end. But sometimes, sometimes at the end of the day, you don't. What makes our successes great is that they come after many failures. And today's failure will lead me to a greater success next time. Bye.